$500. Even if it wasn't all you can eat, I don't think anyone's eating that much food. Someone's definitely washing the dishes after that. <laughs> Now, women will always say they will never approach a man in public. However, the moment they start realizing that other women are after him as well and they feel some kind of competition, they're more inclined to do so. I was sitting with a friend, I went up to them and I was like, hey, so sorry to bother you, I think you're really cute. I was wondering if I could get your number. They look at me and they go, oh my gosh, I am so flattered, that means so much, thank you. Um, but I'm, I'm actually straight. And I said, no worries, and I walked away and um, I, I didn't tell them that I am a woman. A trans woman, but I didn't say it. Let's all be honest here, even if they did tell the person that they were a woman, I still don't think they would be attracted. That does not how it works. All right, uh, if you can make me laugh, uh, I'll take you home tonight. <laughs> so funny, let's go. <laughs> he called. You'd rather have a guy that had everything you wanted, but he cheated from time to time. But you were the main chick. Mm. Or a guy, let's say, let's say you're five deal breakers. He has three. Three of the five let's say you have five things you want. Yeah. He has three. <coughs> um, I'm not gonna lie, as a but he doesn't cheat. I'm taking See, the I can't lie, I'm taking the the cheater I'm, because let me tell I'll you one thing, thing, yeah. That's very in that, that is very, no, that's, yeah, very no, honest. That's, that's, that's honest. That's yeah, honest. No, that's honest. Most girls would. Yeah, most yeah. girls would. Yeah, only because I can't give that guy that has those mm -hmm. what, like, what I would give to the, someone who has everything I need. And there it is, guys, honest proof that a woman would rather be with a man who has everything and still cheats than a guy with nothing and just loyal. A lot of women nowadays are with men for things they can just get provided for. Get in your car, dude. Get in your car! I'm in my car. That's fair. Who bought, who bought you those shades? You shades? My sugar daddy. Did you have to give him sugar for that? Never be afraid, never be afraid to ask men in El Paso for money. These men are so ugly, they will always pay up. These shades? This man was wrong. He's gonna pay for them. He's gonna pay for them, babe. You better not ask him for money. Hey, my bad, bro. F*** the interview, but you gotta pay the tab. <laughs> Go sell your shades. Go sell the shades. Go sell the shades. Hey, bro, she didn't. Hey, she didn't even pay for her drink. <laughs> hey, this. <laughs> she gotta go back and pay for her drink. <laughs> Yo, she ran her mouth for like a pure solid thirty seconds talking about using up men. Make sure you use up these simps just for her not paying the bill at the end of it. That's pretty insane. I know exactly who you are. Lord, have mercy. We must stay focused. Yo, this cop has no idea how to react to the situation. My guy probably just wants to go home after that. I understand why guys would have a problem with a woman with a high body count, though. Do you understand the logic behind it? I think it's insecurity. Keep telling yourself that, darling. That's where it comes from. Like, do they really want to have a woman that is just a virgin? Because she's not going to be good and she's going to have no experience. They don't and... need you to be good, though. I mean, that's so boring. Isn't that boring? It's not boring? That just sounds transactional to me. So guys that are alpha guys that want to be, you know, head of household and consider themselves leaders and want to provide for their women, they don't find it unattractive that a woman would have inexperience. Because they feel like what's going to make that experience in the bedroom so powerful is not that she can bounce off the walls or knows all these tricks or knows all these sexual things and, oh, look, she's doing something like out of a porno. That's not what's appealing to them. What's appealing is that she's really excited to be there for him. She's present. She's committed. And he doesn't need her to be an acrobat. He just needs her to be. There's no way she's asking these questions. It goes to show she's really insecure about herself and her past and her body count. I feel like body count should even be a question anymore. Judging by statistics, we already know that women with higher body counts don't last relationships or marriage longer. Don't oh sh Aiden called me too. Put your phone down there for a second. Get out of all that sh Yeah, we did it. I'm still surprised that Neon is still going through all of these things. Can someone let me know in the comments if he's still with her? Because like at this point, he saw a million red flags and he's just being a simp. Distract him! Distract him! Come on, there he is! 
Oh, oh. Um, and a lot of money. What? Is she for real? I do, right? How much? You can't ask me that. Why? Why? What, well, you're my accountant? Do you earn a lot? Yeah, I earn a nice, nice bit, yeah. A nice bit. He's successful, that's just my type. That's a bit mad. Would you buy your wife a Rolex? 110%. I'll really? spoil my wife. Really? Yeah. So are we getting married? We have to see. Play your cards right. Wow, you just rejected me. I didn't reject you, I said you play your cards right. Is she just after the money? Is that what it is? I'm skimp, baby. Once again, back to my point that women are only after materialistic things or things that can just get provided for at the end of the day. They don't even care about you as a person, how you look. The moment they start hearing how much money you got, they're all in. See the rest of this picture or have $100? $100. You don't want to see this picture? Nah, I have to file um, taxes. That's going to be a lot more than $100. I mean, I don't make a lot. This is my full-time job. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think I would have taken the hundred dollars as well. Who's not taking the hundred dollars? Let me know in the comments. Parents' house in, in an extra bed. Having lost everything. And the, my one Hail Mary play of this launch, the money did not come through. And I was like, I I think you should leave things. Um I I think I'm a, a sinking ship right now. And I would respect you, but you're cool if you wouldn't work. Is this could this has a very high likelihood of not going. You pulled my chin towards her, and she was like, "I would sleep with you under a bridge if you came." And it's hard to comprehend. Like I had nothing, <laughs> you know. Like for her to have that kind of belief, it was very, it was deep. And I think that's what most guys. Now this is exactly what we want in the future. A woman who's really down for us, not for things we're gonna give them. However, in this day and age, it's super hard to find these kind of women, but they do exist out there, that's for sure. Yep, that's the biggest red flag for me. If a girl ever does this during a date, I'm out of there. Who got stood up on a date? She said she was on her way and going to be a little late, but never showed up. I had to eat alone. It was so embarrassing. Fellas, y'all stay safe. I'm not sure why people do this. Just, you know, either text them saying you're not going to be able to make it or just tell them you're not interested. Why do people ghost? It's so stupid. What's actually terrifying? If I didn't say anything, how long would it take you to realize that this video is edited? I don't look like that. Yo, I give her a lot of credit for posting this online because she is really embarrassing the industry right now. A lot of people on social media always compare themselves to people on social media and don't realize that majority of it is all fake. I'm in a relationship. I don't believe in spending my money on my man. His money is for me. My money is for me. Who the fuck are you, bitch? Okay, so that means when we go out, we go on dates, we go shopping, we do whatever, we are using his money. My money does not get touched, okay? So I ended up doing a lot of research on this girl, and apparently she's being 100% honest right now. This is not some kind of satire or trolling video. She's being real right now. She really expects these kind of men to approach her in her lives. And I'm like, I guess you're going to just stay single for quite some time. Hey, I'm going to have to start dressing up like these Starbucks cups so I can get finished too. picking them you're a part of the problem why am i attracting attracting that bro it's the same thing i always say <laughs> if you three baby daddies in and they all dead bees, you are a poor decision making woman and i'm not trying to beat that down you know into you but maybe you need to stop for a second stop popping them kids out like they candy and chill out and reassess yourself and really reevaluate and be like, okay, what's going on with me? Because I'm not a cum bucket because that's how it's coming off. That's how it come off to me. I'm sorry. Anybody that want to release in me can. There's no specialness in it. Anybody could get me pregnant. That's how I feel. That's how it looks. You don't have no type of uh, self-control or thought process. You knew this dude for three months. And then this is another thing. And we were just talking about, I was talking with, um, talking to my makeup artist about this. If you are someone who is not a good judge of character and girl, by two baby daddies, you know, if you a good judge of character, I don't care. Cause if both is bad, both baby daddies, dad bees, like we said, girl. So if you know that, right, mm -hmm. wait, 
get to know them. People can only hide who they are for so long unless they are psychopaths or you're just completely yeah there's no way she has this kind of track record in the past and still is blaming men for her actions these are the kind of men you're into take accountability for it uh-huh look at that look at that uh-huh uh-huh what you mean what you always snapping your food right. you know who you with right. come here come get me all right come get come get the shrimp all right i'm eating good too all right come get me though come get me you're right who you right. getting paid for this food all right g you're not all no right. shit. you in a whole I'm relationship with me with right. me what? Come get the shrimp again. Come get it. Yeah. You bugging out right now. Come get the shrimp. Stop playing with me. Right. Come okay. get me now. Stop playing with me. All right. Why are you going no? No, because you always snapping your shit. You, you oh with me too. You're all dead. You with me too. All right. Start snapping my food. Stop doing that. All right. I'm still eating good though. No, no, no. Come get me. Come get me. Oh Come get the shrimp. God. Now, in my opinion, guys, just stay off social media. There's no reason you should be on social media this much posting everything. Statistics also prove that the couples that don't post on social media end up the longest. So if you really like someone and they like you back, just make a deal with each other that we should not be posting anything on social media and just see how much our relationship will flourish. That's pretty good. <laughs> woman dealing with a man who knows his worth is literally like the most like humbling experience ever because he will literally cut your ass off like he'll let you slide on a couple of crazy things but like that final one your ass is cut and that shit is so heartbreaking because it's like when you mess up you're like boy you will never hit this again but when you mess up and you really gotta accept the fact that you messed up and that you will never hit that again. That is very humbling, okay? It's very heartbreaking. It's it's very it's something very hard to come to terms with. Like, but yeah, I messed that up. Oh no. Nah. The accountability really starts to kick in and it feels a lot like shit. Now after that experience, she'll probably be respecting that man much more because, well, he respected himself first. A lot of simps out there are always want apologizing first, overlooking red flags, trying to fix any problems. And I'm like, bro, if you just don't respect yourself, they're just not going to respect you either. My money's my money. Your money is our money. Um, okay, now I'm joking. <laughs> She had a really big mouth and sounded super confident, so she saw all of them leave. When I went on a date with a man, and I told him I used to competitively swim, and he says, oh, I can tell. And I say, what gave it away? And he says, your shoulders. And we were eating pizza, and then he picked up one of the pizza slices, and he says, you're kind of built like this pizza slice. Let me know in the comments if that's a compliment. I, I think it is. I feel like she got a good build to her. What's wrong with that? Could not resist, so I had to look it up. From the Office of National Statistics, from a 2019 study, in ever-increasing numbers, we are now at a lesbian divorce rate of 72%. So the top four reasons that they are reporting getting divorced is feeling ignored, inequality in the partnership, adultery, and domestic violence. Personally... I feel like this lends some weight to men's arguments and complaints about how women are behaving in relationships. Because when you have lesbian statistic, lesbian divorce statistics that look like that, the girls are kind of telling on them. Now this study over here pretty much proves that, well, majority of the time in relationships, it's usually the women's fault. I'm not saying the statistics are, so don't get mad at me in the comments. <laughs> Dry AF. Do you want something to drink? Do you want something to drink? To be honest, I would have even recorded. I would just got up and left. There's no way I'm giving this woman any of my time. She's clearly busy. And this is not her first time dating either. She knows exactly what she's doing, trust me. You look like you got your ears pierced at Claire's. When you were 14. You look like a future trailer park mom with three kids and no father. Oh my god. Well, that does it for you guys. Watch this, guys. The next one. Take care. Peace.